the Taiwanese laboratory where we have the technician Mr. Mario. First we let Mario introduce himself and then we go into a brief discussion. Mr. Mario, welcome to our program and nice having you on the program. Hello everyone, my name is Mario. I am the project manager for the vegetable, fruit and upland crop quality and safety improvement projects. Laboratory which is located at Linmas. Today I am here to tell you about this project. The one we provide the soil fertility analysis service to detect soil nutrition such as nitrogen, phosphate, potassium, organic matter, EC, and pH. Soil fertility analysis is the most important guide to the profitable use of the fertilizer and compost. It is in the best interest for farmers and consultants to promote the use of the soil fertility analysis for several reasons. We could grow higher crop yields, produce the higher quality crops, use for the lighter more efficiency. I am encouraging all farmers to utilize the service by bring your own sample to be tested is free of the cost. After soil fertility analysis, we will provide the you with soil test report. According to analysis result, we will suggest to the farmers about the best fertilizer application to improve fertilization. Seen to healthy plants come from the healthy soil. One of the best way you can build your healthy soil in your own land by using compost. Additionally, we are encouraging farmers to use own compost material such as grass, crops residues to make compost. Another part of the project is RPPR, rapid biosis pesticide residue. This technique was developed in Taiwan and it is only tested before eating mouth to crops. This technique allows farmers to be able to know whether their crops are free of pesticide residue before harvest and marketing. RPPR is a fast map and result can be obtained in hours, sometimes minutes, unlike traditional way that take weeks. The project logo is get farmers to join the project and get their crops test before marketing so the crop can be certified safe and consumption. When farmers join, they will be given the project logo to serve to symbolize their crops are safe and have been tested. Again, I like to encourage farmers to join the project. Thank you. Okay, every farmer, after our soil sampling, all of the sample would be delivered to our laboratory. And in this laboratory, we have the technician, Miss Shaman Henry and the Kevin, they would be have all of the farmers to test our soil samples. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, hi everyone, and I'm Kevin Lee, and uh, I'm also the project assistant of um, of this project and uh, 
Uh, I am here to uh, work with Shaman and we test lots of soil samples together. And uh, after we finish those samples, we will um, make a soil test result and de deliver to all the farmer. And I will, we will also give those of you uh, give farmer the recommendation about um, what you, you can do on your uh, farm and make your field and your, make your crop become better. And our, I think the reason why we are here is um, we, want to, um, um, uh, we want to make a good relationship between Taiwan and the thank you farmer and also help all farmers here to have a better crop production. And, uh, so I'm Shemaine Hanley, I'm the project technician for the Soils Laboratory. In our laboratory, we test for five elements that are important to plant growth. They include the pH level, the electrical conductivity, and NPK, that's nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. Well, so far we realized that most of the farms, they're quite acidic in nature. So we have to recommend to the farmers to address uh, that issue. They can do that by adding lime to the soil so that it neutralizes it a bit more. And um, when it comes to NPK, which is the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, those levels are very low. So farmers are uh, usually advised to add fertilizer, but we recommend the amount that is Required. According to our soil sampling uh, report, we find that one problem maybe farmer they could understand. In all of the uh, sampling, they have the same problem is our phosphate is low. So I try to uh, advise farmer they could use single phosphate. They would be have our production and getting a better quality food. Until right now, we have been test 150 sample more in uh, Sankis and Navis. But we try to get some more soil sampling from the farmers because in our project, we only have the four years. We are start from 2014 and we will be finished um, 2017, end of the year. So before this project start, and everyone know our project laboratory is ready for serving with you. So once again, I try to encourage farmers to use our service to benefit your uh, production and create your uh, good quality that we could serving you. And thank you. I think the farming community in saying it's we really appreciate the service that you guys provide here. You know, because over the years there was a cry, farmers don't know their soil type, they don't know what's affecting their production. So in this case now, we could bring some closure so we don't fall in the production area. So I want to thank the Taiwanese government for partnering with the same government and uh, moving forward for the soil fertility analysis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Once again, welcome every farmer to go by our program. In our project, have another win is RBPR, a rabbit biosis pesticide residue. In this techniques, we try to keep all of the agricultural product from Naps and Sankis, keep them the certificate safe, and we have based on this safety could really uh, join our product into the marketing that our product have a value added in the marketing and maybe we will be encourage all of the uh, hotel or restaurant use our safety product from local and assist the farmer to produce the good quality uh, product for us. Okay, today I will introduce our technician, uh, Jaben Branchas and Ben over here. And Jaben Branchas, he will be introduce some more detail to us. My name is Jaben Branchas, I'm a lab technician in the project. Uh, me and Ben are responsible for the safety side of the project. 
Well, what this section actually does, as Mario mentioned, we, did, we do the RBPR, which is a rapid biopsy of pesticide residues. This is a technique unique to Taiwan. It was developed in Taiwan, and it allows it allows us here to, you know, rapidly test for pesticide residues in, in the crops. So what we do actually is, you know, collect samples from the field from farmers before they, they harvest and, you know, sell to the market and we test them for pesticide residues. After testing, we, we are certain that they're free from pesticide residues. We can certify the growth that, you know, the consumers, the market, the public will know that their crops are safe for consumption. For the two years you've been testing, what are some of the results in percentage-wise, good or bad? Well, for the two years we, we have been testing, um, We've been collecting samples from the local market and you know vendors around town. And from from what we've tested, ninety-eight percent of the samples have passed the test. Which means, you know, the smart two percent we have to worry about. But what we must say is that, you know, it's only the vendors we are we're collecting samples from because you know we need farmers to come on board. So what we could do is get the farmers before they sell to the market. And you know, so if we get that, then we'll be able to give a better percentage of what's good and what's not. Okay, so we extend a, a general invitation to the farmers to come on board with the pesticide residue test, so that our consumers could be at rest in their heart knowing that they are eating safe food. So this is a general invitation to all farmers in St. Kitts Navis to come and register at the Taiwanese lab. Pesticide residue department with Mr. Blanchett and Ben and get on board so that we could have a healthy and a safe agricultural nation. All the farmers are here to welcome you, bring your food or your samples to our laboratory. We are here happy to serve with you that we are all together. Thank you.